Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast with your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And today we're going to look into the Jovian planets. Remember last time we looked at those terrestrial planets or those inner rocky planets, and we have a different set for the outer four of those planets. The Jovian planets are Jupiter-like planets, relatively large um, planets, also made up of mostly gas, so they're going to have a lower density. And we also notice that they have many moons. Our first planet is Jupiter, or our first Jovian planet, moving outwards from the sun, is Jupiter. And this is the great red spot up over here. Massive hurricane that's been fueled by the rotation, or partly by the rotation of this planet. Uh, takes 12 years to revolve around the sun, made up of mostly gases, with a very tiny, small, rocky core. And then we have, like that said, that great red spot that we're talking about, that massive hurricane. And it also has 60 moons. We move outwards a little bit more into Saturn. Here's Saturn in its moon. Once again, characteristic Jovian planet, lots of moons. Second largest planet in our solar system. Once again, made up of the gases, hydrogen, helium, and methane. Uh, 31 moons here. An extensive ring system uh, made up of icy particles. And we have an average temperature of negative 312 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty chilly there. Moving on to Uranus. Okay, bluish color from the methane that is present there. Uh, has a very set faint uh, faint rings, which is we notice with the, all the Jovian planets. They're going to have a very either Saturn being the extreme set of rings, um, but we see with Uranus and Neptune that they do have these ring structures also. Uh, tilted an angle of 98 degrees. We'll go into that in a moment. And it takes about 84 years to revolve around the sun once, and it's also relatively cold. The tilt of the ax axis or this obliquity, you notice that most of them, Mercury, Venus, Earth, so they're, they're relatively, you know, vertical. Same thing with Jupiter. But when we get to Saturn, it's just the thing. But Uranus, look at it here. This major tilt that we got. Almost 90 degrees, 98 degrees right there on side. And then Pluto, of course. But we, we could talk about Pluto later on. Um, definitely not being a planet anymore once was considered. So you can see how it goes here. It's not too bad. Venus to 177. So it's basically kind of, you know, flip there. So look at that. Then we move out to Neptune, getting a little bit further away from the sun. Okay, bluish color. Once again, that methane gas, dark spot, just like um, Jupiter's great red spot, that massive storm. Uh, very faint rings again, 11 moons, and uh, pretty cold. And moving out to Pluto, which is now known as a planetesimal. Okay, so planetesimal, small planet. Um, not a planet anymore. They changed that. It's a shame. Uh, just looking at Pluto and its moon Sharon. So they're pretty close, but both of them together, uh, not much bigger than USA. So the farthest quote unquote planet from the sun does not fit in with any of the jo Jovian planets. Small rocky, only one moon. Uh, that moon Sharon, 250 years to get around that sun once. Huge period of uh, revolution. Very elliptical orbit. It actually crosses with Neptune. Uh, smaller than our moon, and it's also relatively cold. Okay, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll go on to comets and meteors next time. Take care.